Stitchy Tube. Come meet my friends and watch Stitchy Tube. Hey guys, this is Teresa. I'm back from market. What a whirlwind it was. Today is Thursday and so it's been a week since I posted and since I left. Um, I was going to post from market but I had computer difficulties and had to do a bunch of filming with my iPhone and so I'm just getting back home and getting settled down so I can update you all with some interviews with some people that I know from the needlework industry. Tell you a bit about how market went and just kind of catch up with some news. Um, so today's format with Stitchy Tube is going to be a little bit different than it typically is. I'm not going to do what I'm all into and all that other stuff. I just wanted to talk to you about market. Um, so Thursday when I, I filmed, I ended up not leaving town until 6.30. Uh, there just were a number of things that just kind of didn't go quite right. Like I said, my uh, bags didn't come in until Wednesday night. And then I had some supplies that I had ordered from a couple of places that actually accidentally got delivered to my old store, which was five years ago. And so I had to go run around town and try to find those packages and I did and so it was all fine. And I went and got some shoes and I headed out of town and I called my mom on the way out of town and she said, oh, are you on your way to, or are you, are you in Nashville now? And I said, um, nope, just leaving. And she was like, oh no, are you okay? And I said, yeah, just, it was a busy day. And she said, well, what time will you get in? I said, probably about one in the morning. And she was like, oh no, what? What, is that safe? And I said, oh, Mom, I'll be fine, you know, and she just, she was worried. And I said, Mom, don't forget, I'm really tough. And she said, but I'm not. And she said, will you text me when you get in? And so she ended up calling me on the road like at 11 just to make sure I was still fine, which I was. Um, Nashville is really just about a six hour drive from my house. And so it's, it's a pretty easy drive. It's just like a, follow one road, turn slightly, follow that road. And of course, with you know modern technology, it's very easy to get places. And so, you know, what would we do without our smartphones? So it went fine. I got there at about oh, like 12:40, I think, is when when I got in. And um, there was actually a couple ahead of me that was checking in for the show too. And there was a young gentleman who checked me in. He probably was maybe 25 or so. And he said, "Oh, are you are you here for the show?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm a designer. I've got a booth upstairs." And he goes. I really need to learn how to cross stitch and I was like yeah you, you totally do so um, I thought well I'll just take up a load because the carts are just right there and, and typically one of the things that I'll tell you about market is that um, when you're trying to haul your stuff in the hotel will have luggage carts that you can use to haul things to your room and they are in short supply during market but it was one o'clock in the morning so I thought I'll take one load up and then in the morning I'll finish well I took one load up and I was like Teresa you'll never get a cart in the morning so I just until two I just hauled stuff you know up to my room I didn't set anything up I just got it all in the room and then went to bed so it was about two o'clock by the time I laid down I don't know what time it was by the time I got to sleep I set my alarm for eight so I could get up and have um, some of the free breakfast that they had with the understanding that I would be going back to bed so I went down in my pajamas and uh, ran into Cecile from just another button company. And she's like, oh, Teresa, it's so good to see you. And I was like, mm, yeah, I know. <laughs> I said, I'm, I got in it too. I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna go back to my room. So then when I saw her later, she was like, oh, you look way better than you did earlier. <laughs> I was like, I know, I was so tired. But I did, I slept and um, that was good. And Sue came in about, I think it was, two or three I can't remember but I ran to the mall quick to get some clothes because my clothes are just like I look I have ragamuffin samplers I looked like a ragamuffin because my clothes are just shot and um so I went to the this really cool mall I went to a gap outlet I love the gap I got got some gap clothes got four new pairs of pants so I could just kind of look like some semblance of a human being and not have like cat tears and pills and stains and so that was cool. I went ahead and got some of those. You know, they have those new pants now. They're like the really tight legs. And I've kind of avoided it because I'm like, oh, I'm almost 50. I don't need to be wearing tight legs. And so I said to the lady at the Gap, um, do you have any pants that like go all the way to the ground that are like a looser? And she was like, um, not really. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. So I got some and they're actually really cute. So anyway. Um, picked up Sue at the airport after I went shopping. She helped me get set up. My friend Jennifer came in with her sister Bridget and uh, her their friend Lisha, and then they helped us pack uh, charts until like 10:30 or something like that. And you know, some shop owners stopped by and some designers stopped by. There is on Friday nights they have a 
like an early bird show where you can you can open your door and be open so that shops can come in and shop. I have done that once or twice and I really like having Friday to get ready and get prepared. And historically I have found that if you open Friday, your Sunday is really slow because people have already had two days to shop your booth. Um, so I just, I didn't open. I did run around and say hello to a few people and that was cool. Um, we did, um, where did we eat? Sue and I went and ate at this. It was like, oh, Hungry Howie's for, for pizza, which was kind of good. I think it's a chain. It was like $5 pizzas, but they were like this big and they were pretty good. So we had a great time. We went to bed. Every night Sue and I um, would wake up like at four o'clock in the morning on our, and be on our phones for like a minute. And then we would just talk for like an hour and a half and then we'd be like, okay, let's go back to sleep. <laughs> we would go back to sleep for a while. So that was really cool. But we got the booth set up, not until really Saturday morning. I got up at 6.30 and put everything in place. Just kind of um, threw things here and there. And I'll put some pictures up. Um, I'll put some pictures up here so you can see what the booth looked like. People had really nice things to say. Paulette from Plum Street said, I think you win the best booth award. And I was like, oh. That's so nice. I can drive and so I can bring a bunch of that kind of decorator crap that's hard for a lot of other places to bring. But um, Okay, so then Saturday is when the shopping started and, you know, market used to be one of those things where people had to actually take numbers and stand in line at the start of a room and it's not that way anymore. Um, I don't know how many shops came, but the shops that were there were happy and doing well and they were buying and they were supportive. And so it was a good market. I had a very successful market. I'm super pleased with how market went. And everybody else was too. Um, Yarn Tree recently took over running the show. I think like 2015 maybe was their first year of running the show and they do such a nice job. They're the sweetest people. They always wanna make sure everything is going just great. And um, I don't know what that was all about. Ty. So um, they just do a really great job running the show. They're very supportive. They're very accommodating. I have no complaints. They do a great job. It's a huge, you know, burden for them to put the show on and they do it to support the industry. And I just really thank them for that. They do a great job. I also want to say a really heartfelt thank you to Sue for coming and helping. I really could not have done it without you, Sue, and, and um, Lisha and Bridget and Jennifer too for helping me get my charts packed. But Sue was such a great help all weekend, helping me sell my things and letting me get out of the booths um, so I could go say hello to people and do some of these interviews that I'm about to show you. It's always fun to see everybody. And um, uh, it was fun to do these interviews. I, I was planning on doing them originally in my room, but I was having trouble with my internal microphone and I did not bring my snowball. So um, I actually had to tape on my phone. And so I did, you know, I told people, you know, can I interview for you for 90 seconds? And some of them are a few minutes. Some of them really are just 90 seconds, but I wanted you to see some of the people um, that you love their designs. Um, some of the people were um, said, Oh, I'm, there were people that said, I'm too shy. Like I'm, I'm not interested. Thank you though. But I, I really can't, I'm just too nervous. And then some people said, Oh, I don't, I'm, I'm very shy. And I said, okay, well, how about if we just like film your things and you stand here over my shoulder and we'll just talk about what you have. And so there were a few people that did that. And then there were some people who were like, yeah, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> so um, it was really fun and I, I will do more of it in the future. And so um, I'm gonna talk for just a little bit more here and then I'll have the interviews here at the end so you can kind of see and I'll, I'll put, you know, tags in so you know who everybody is but I just I thank everybody who took the time to talk to me even just for a few minutes um, I think it will be fun for y'all to see who was there um, lots of really cool designs at the show lots of great samplers reproduction samplers and otherwise um, if I had to pick a favorite I just it's hard it's hard to choose favorites I really love Kathy Barrick's things I really really do she's quirky and funny and talented and um I liked her designs really well, but I liked a lot of designs and a lot of samplers. I'll show you, I got a little bit of stash and um, designers kind of, we kind of gift each other things too. So we'll do like swaps of charts where it's like, um, 
you know, someone will be like, I want that. And so you'll, you'll be like, oh, here, take one. Then they'll be like, oh, here, have one of these. So, so some of these are chart swaps and some of these are, um, you know, things that I bought. I did get, um, Gloriana always brings the designers the new colors. And so I wanted to show off her new colors, which are very pretty. She's got some grays and some kind of pinky reds, which are really, really pretty. And so those will go in my designing ring um, for the future. I think those reds especially will come in really handy. And then this color is really unusual. What is that? Pewter dark, kind of a dark, it's a kind of a teal gray. Oh, and this one too, almond, isn't that pretty? Anyway, so I thank Anne for that. She's very talented. I did pick up some silks from her to do, um, I have a little sampler that I'm gonna reproduce with a silk ribbon border. And so that's something that I'll be working on in the next year. Um, Weeks Dye Works 2 runs around and gives out samples of their new colors. And I don't know if you all knew, but I did a, a floss conversion, a DMC conversion for them that you can find at weeksdyeworks.com so that you can convert your DMC into Weeks Dye Works if you like their threads, which of course I do. Their colors are so beautiful. So they, they had four new colors that they ran around. It's uh, Santa Cruz, Oyster, Bees, Knees, and Roasted Fig. And they're very pretty as well. And so there are those. Very, very nice. And Miranda's very sweet. I would have liked to have interviewed Miranda, but there just weren't enough hours in the day, and it seemed like any time I stopped by, she was very busy, which is a good thing. Um, Chessie and me had a beautiful reproduction sampler called the Esther Idleton sampler from 1832. Here's what the original looks like. And then there's what the reproduction looks like. And the picture never does it justice, does it? This sampler is beautiful. And the cool thing is, is that up here, I don't know if you're, gonna be, you're not really going to be able to see it. There's a, a seeing eye dog with a man. And it says like poor blind Jim. Poor, poor blind man. It just says poor blind man. And it's got the seeing eye dog, which is really cool. Um, but anyway, that's a really pretty sampler. And she did a great job reproducing it. So I picked up one of those. Um, I went to Nikki, Nikki's booth. Nope, let's see if I can find... Nikki from Nikki's Creations, and I did an interview with her, so you'll see that in a minute. She gave me um, she gave me a sampler called the Clocks Sampler, which is really, really cute. And she did it in a few different colorways, and of course her stuff is really cool. This is a not a reproduction. She, this is something that she designed. And so if you like primitives, this is really cool. And you can do it in your favorite color. But she also makes things, and she's so talented. And I got this beautiful little crocheted needle book that the ribbon runs through and you can put needles and pins in there. And it's not gonna look as pretty online as it does here. I love the little kind of scalloped border. $10, it's so cute. How, why someone didn't buy them all, I'll never know. But she made these. And so I will think of Nikki when I see this. It's got this cute little, it says needles. Okay, um, Plum Street Samplers had really great stuff, all, as always. Could not resist the Milk and Cream Company. Um, really, really cute with this um, cow with the kind of Quaker stars. And I love that white barn in the background. It was really, really cute. And she gave me that, which was very nice of her. I gave her a um, paper mache skull. And uh, I think she liked it. She thought it was funny. I gave one to Kathy Barrick too. Um, Brenda Gervais, by the time I got to her booth, she was wiped clean because her things are very pretty. And I did interview her as well. And um, she was too shy to be on camera, but she did talk to us and you get to see all of her beautiful models. I picked up Summer in Baltimore. Um, which was such a pretty, pretty pattern. Love it. Love that bird with the drapey flag. And, but all of her things were beautiful. And I'm sure that I'll, um, you know, buy some more of her charts um, now that, you know, now that I'll have access. She just, she was picked clean, but good for her because she's awesome. And then Scarlet House had some cool stuff. And I, I always like, her colors are always really cool. This was one that, this was the one I liked the best, Anna Grader. And... Um, I was like, oh, I really like that one. She said, I do too. And she said, it didn't do as well as I thought it would. And, I, and so I bought it, took it back. And then Sue went and she bought one too, because, um, it is, it's really, really pretty. The colors are really nice. And, um, it's just a cute little sampler. Who doesn't love alphabets? I love alphabets. Blackbird designs. Um, they're so nice. They gave me these too. And I gave them a couple of frames that I made. Um, they had, and I've got the interviews with them. So keep watching. Um, they've got this really cool Deck the Halls book that's new, and it's all different, um, six strawberry patterns. And, and so that's, and it's, I mean, it's like full color and very, very, very cute. And then they've got this one that's Shall I Compare to Thee to Summer's Day. This was um, a, re a reproduction that they did 
Um, the original is on the back, so you can see that. They did not chart Jesus on the cross. They said they felt it was not, it was, it's very sad. And so um, anyway, they, they reproduced um, bits and pieces of the sampler, and this pincushion especially is very, very pretty. But this is a great little, great little chart. And then, um, and Blossom as the Rose is another one, and this was so, so pretty. And again, this was a, a sampler that they bought that they took bits and pieces of it and made different projects with. And they've got lots of great ideas in these. Their books, if you don't collect their books, you should, because they go out of print eventually, and then you can't get them, and then you want them. So get them as they come out. But they are just the nicest ladies. Uh, I went to the Primitive Hair. Her booth is always one of my favorites. She just has the coolest stuff. I got this, she does these printed linens, and I got this linen that is printed with snowflakes. And I got this chart. They don't have anything stitched on it yet, but this would be super cute on it. This snowy Christmas, very primitive. Um, and she's so, so nice. She is so nice. And I interview her too, so keep watching. I also got this chart, which I've wanted for a while. Miss Lynette Lynn Lynn and Lynn and blah, 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 blah. Um, a little kitty who likes her linen. Super cute. All right, Mary Wind Farm. This was a newish designer. And um, love this. This was so pretty. And again, the picture does not do it justice. But this is a great, great, pretty, beautiful, beautiful sampler. And um, it's from, what, 1837. And the colors are amazing. She just did a great, great job. And this is stitched in DMC threads. So, uh, or DMC, so it's, it's not in silks, which makes it a little bit less, um, less expensive. Okay, and then just stitching along, another newish designer, Miss Lucy Calcutt, such a, such a pretty sampler. Who does, uh, red houses just knock me out. Um, one interesting thing she said was that this space here, people were like, oh, what, did she not stitch something there? That piece of the sampler is missing, so she did not know what was in that little portion. So she just left it blank, which I think is cool. Maybe you could stitch it and then cut a hole there and pretend yours was eaten by time as well. This one's in a Verisoir DMC, and it's very pretty. And Stacy Nash, of course, her booth is always so inspiring, and she's so clever and creative. Um, I, I love the, the samplers, and so I picked up Mary Barr's sampler. And this is the original, a picture of the original with the sheep at the bottom. And she had her, I'm gonna, I'll put a picture in. Um, here, I'll put a picture in right here. So that is um, what hers looked like. And I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love how there's a seam running down the right-hand side. There's a, there's a seam that runs down the right-hand side and there are two pieces of linen joined together and the sampler continues. Now that's not how it is in the original. So I was like, oh, what, gosh, what a great idea. That's so, so cool. And what happened was they cut the fabric the wrong size and started stitching it. And then they were like, oh no, we're running out of fabric. And so they just adapted. And it was one of those like happy accidents. Um, and it is just perfect. To me, it's perfect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Amazing. Super cool. Now, uh, Carmen Sutton did not have a booth, I don't think. But um, she came in to say hi. And I was like, you know what sampler viewers I, I really love is that Jane Thomas sampler with the weird Adam and Eve on it. They're kind of chunky and like clay putty colored. And when this came out, I was just like, I, I loved it. I carried it in my shop. I never got one for myself. She goes, I live locally here. I'll just bring you one. So she brought me one and um, then I gave her some, some charts or whatever. So um, love this. Thank you, Carmen. So sweet. Happy to add this to my stash. Um, so Jane Thomas by Cardan Antiques. Okay, almost getting to the bottom here. Um, and Wright by Samplers Not Forgotten. Um, once again, picture does not do it justice. This is the this is the antique, but it's a very, very pretty sampler. You know that I like things that are wonky, and this one is very not wonky. It's very kind of symmetrical, but it's very, very pretty. Um, and I think if I stitched it, I really like this, but I love alphabet so much. I think I would maybe replace that and do do some kind of an alphabet there. But it's it's great, and that one is stitched in Oh, Krynik Silk Mori and Needlepoint Silk and Classic Color Works. So that's really cool. Um, and, you know, one of the neat things about doing reproduction samplers is that you can substitute threads that you have. You know, just find colors that you like. Fits. Fits. 
Fits. Nope. Dingling. Okay. Um, Kathy Barrick loved, loved everything that she had. Should have got one of everything. Just love it. Just love it. So talented. And I interview her too, so stay tuned. Um, this one I just thought was one of the coolest things at market. It's called um, Garden Vegetables. And it is a um, guide of when, when to plant your vegetables and how to, you know, germinate your seeds and everything. And it's got those lovely ladies in skirts there at the top and the birds and the, and the little birdhouses here at the bottom. It's really, really cute. And that one is stitched on 40 count doubloon from Picture This Plus with needlepoint silks. And it's, it's great. Fits. Okay, and I got two more and she gave me these. She was so nice. Um, I kn you know that I'm, I'm stitching her milliner, but I also got a copy of Miss Mary Hadley, which is another in the series. Look at that great skirt. And she's got the um, beehive. She's a bird and beekeeper beehive. And she's got a little bird in a, bat in a cage. Really, really pretty. That one's in Needlepoint Silks or DMC on 40 Count Sand from Picture This Plus. And then this one's really cool too, Strawberry Blossoms. And um, she stitched it as a pillow and you could totally frame it or you could do lots of cool things with it. I love that there are blue strawberries. I love that. And that's stitched on 40 Count Shale from Picture This Plus and that's using Needlepoint Silks as well. But you can do DMC, she, she puts conversions on her charts. But really everything that she released was amazing. Loved all the colors, her, her sense of color is so, so good. Okay, so, market went really great. And I thank you for that because, um, you know, those of you who pre-ordered or told shops to make sure to look out for my things helped me have a very successful show. And the good news is, that Saturday's my last day at work. And Fitz runs in for, ex <laughs> for emphasis. <laughs> um, I went, I, I drove back on Monday. Actually, so that when the show ended, um, you know, it's always bittersweet because you hate to say goodbye to everybody, but um, the show ended and then Sue and I, Monday morning, packed the car and we were packing the car and, and this lady, three ladies were walking in with their luggage. And... One of them goes, oh, is that, is that, is that cross-stitch? And I said, oh yeah, you just missed a big show. There was a show here this weekend and it was, and she goes, oh, I watch you on YouTube. You're a kitten stitcher. <laughs> I said, yes. And so we chatted for a minute and she was like, oh no, I missed a show. And so I gave her a chart and gave her a couple of hugs and she was so excited. And um, that just made me feel really good. Um, but I, I, um, I had a great show. I, I have some things in the works already with some shops. I've been invited to go to the Galleria in St. Charles this fall. Um, I was asked if I'd like to come and teach somewhere, but I'm not going to tell you where until that's a firm thing. Um, but it just went really well. I picked up a new distributor. Yarn Tree is now going to be distributing my charts too, as well as Hoffman distributing. Um, it just went really great. And so on Tuesday I went to work and it was fine. It was good. And, um, you know, we had, we had, um, my, my boss and I had had some talks because we we have um, we're entering kind of a slow season so we had to cut some some hours out of the schedule to, to meet the payroll budget and she was like oh here we go again because March and April are always really tricky the end of the fiscal year and I said Kathy I'm leaving and she said where are you going and I said I'm I'm quitting and she she was like when and I said well I can be here for you know a few weeks and then if you want I can work part-time to help you transition and she goes can you help us get through inventory, which is to, which is Saturday, not tomorrow, Saturday. I said, yeah, yeah, I can do that. And she said, just go. She said, you need to follow your dream. You need to be where you need to be. Um, life is too short. And so that was very, she, she was very nice about it. And everybody at work ha has been disappointed and sad. Um, and, it, and it happened quicker than I thought. You know, I really was thinking I would, I would stick around for a while yet. But I told my husband, I really need to hit the ground running, that I've got momentum um, I've got a whole bunch of, you know, plans in the works and, um, and so here I go, I'm, I'm back and uh, I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to start uh, by making out kind of a business plan and a schedule that, uh, to stick to. Um, I've got designs and, and other projects in, in place already that are, are in the works. I have one that I didn't show in my, my video. I forgot to show it. And so I'm, I'm going to show you that now. Jenny Beans for the parlor series is something I started in 2015 
and then that's when I just had a really bad year and and it had it was a few bad years and so I it was supposed to be an eight part series I'm on this part three was released this last weekend that it's going to be one stitch longer and one stitch wider than and they send which is a very famous um, sampler that a lot of people have stitched and the idea is that Jenny Bean it's called for the parlor meaning this is the one that mom and dad hung in the parlor to show everybody because they were so proud of her and so part one I have it on a um I have it on a a rolling pin to show it because I was like how do you show something that's not quite finished so part one is this sampler at the top with the alphabets and the strawberries in the pots and you can see the numbers are growing out of the plants from the pots one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then part two Eden was a paradise is where I left off back in 2015 so part three was released at the show and that is uh, Noah Noah's Ark and so you can see the city there is under the waves and there are fish swimming by the buildings and there are some dogs and some cats and some birds and a rain cloud and two doves one of which has an olive branch and so the idea with this is that you just stitch them as they come out like I said they're going to be eight the next piece is um, is the Good Shepherd and it's not all gonna be biblical those are the first four parts are biblical then there's gonna be a town a house a verse and a forest I believe um, and then it'll be done and the, and the thing is if you if like if you're like oh I don't like Adam and Eve don't stitch that part just leave it out you can collect the parts you like you can stitch the pieces separately and make little you know pillows or pincushions or pull motifs out it's just meant to be fun it's all stitched in sampler threads on I, I'm stitching mine on 36 count Ren by picture this plus um, but you could stitch it on something else it will fit on a skinny half of 32 36 or 40 count you know if you get an 18 by 55 inch length um, it, on 28 count you might end up having to leave leave a row out because um, the stitch count is around like 800 or so okay so that's the big news so thank you so thank you I feel like I'm finally kind of coming home this is what I need to be doing and I just want to make sure that I do a good job at it and enjoy it and and take care of my family and take care of myself you know what I mean so so thank you I, I appreciate everybody's support you're all very very kind and sweet um, for now if you want to um, get my new things that have come out um, I'll put a link below for Jen stitching it she's my friend she's got a shop on Etsy but do ask your local shop or your favorite online shop to get you my charts too I want to spread the wealth so make sure you know whoever you normally shop with they can get my things um, but through my two distributors now yarn tree or Hoffman distributing um, so that's the excitement I'm gonna put the interviews here now um, I did have requests like hope you can edit this to make us look younger <laughs> and so please realize that these people made themselves vulnerable for you and so they're um, not everybody's comfortable being on camera but they did a great job and you can really see everybody's personality shine through I so enjoy these friends that I've had for 20 years and um, they just really are some of the sweetest people so creative so nice so giving so generous uh, just lovely 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 people and I hope that you enjoy seeing you know what they have that's new to offer and just kind of meeting them a little bit I think it's you know they're people they're just people we're all just people and so um, you know I hope I hope that you enjoy seeing the interviews but um, I think this is gonna be it I may poke in at the end for a last little just kind of closing thoughts but um, thanks again on March 12th I'll be posting two videos on finishing for my candle chicken piece and my basket of eggs piece and so stay tuned for those March 12th is also my birthday I'm gonna be 48 years old my husband's gonna be out of town at Disney World for work um, I can't go because I gotta be at work on Saturday but I'll, I'll be spending the day doing wonderful things my birthday I always make a really big deal on my birthday I do everything I want to do and nothing I don't want to do so um, anyway I'll see you soon this is Bridget she's helping me pack charts Hello. hey Bridget here's Sue she's helping me pack charts hi floss tube hey Jennifer she's helping me pack charts Hello. hey Alicia she's comic relief <laughs> Hello. things are not set up yet but we're getting there it's gonna be a long night Hey guys this is Teresa and this is my booth and I'm so excited it turned out really really nice I'm gonna kind of take you on a tour of like from let's go in from the door so you can see how you walk into the booth there's everything and uh, got some antiques <laughs> some antique sampler 
reproductions. So pretty, there's Ann Harrison and Jane Philpot. And we've got Mary Bate and the Spanish Mystery Sampler. Ann Womack and Elizabeth Milner. There you can see in the back there is the Magic Garden Sampler, the Humble Servant Sampler. Here's the new um, Jenny Bean for the Parlor, the Noah's Ark, which I forgot to show on my last video. A bucket, <laughs> a bucket. An old mirror that I have. There is Mercy Goodhart and a, a little piece of Anne Grant there. And then here's the big Anne Grant sampler, which is lovely. I never see that one because it's on kind of permanent loan with the shop. The Sweet Temper sampler. There's my candle chicken piece. People like that. And there's my basket of eggs and my here lie my needles. God save the queen and the Jenny Bean Christmas sampler. And this is a little fractor bird kit that I've got. And then here is uh, the Jenny Bean uh, Spring at Bean Family Farm and the Ann Hobbs re-release. So you can see I'm going to try not to make everybody so dizzy. Don't forget about Oh yeah, I'll go over there okay. too. And kind of see what it looks like and over here is just a little corner too I've got the Ann Dale original down here and Jane Pattison's sampler that's very kind of Christmassy I've draped some crocheted trim that I got really really cheap on Etsy just kind of over samplers which I think looks kind of cute I've never done that before but that's that's what it's looking like in here Hope you like it. Hey everybody, it's Teresa and it is day one of market. Things are going really great. Um, things are going really great. It's fun to meet everybody and I'm hoping to get out pretty soon and see some of the new designs. I've heard there's some really cool stuff. I guess the fabric companies were super, super busy. Um, Sue? <laughs> here's Sorry, here's Sue. Staring, staring out the window. <laughs> um, it's, there's lots of new stuff out there. We're having a good time. Lots of nice people stopping by. Really having a fun fun time. My um my computer's not working great and I can't record sound, so I'm working on it because I hope to film some people tomorrow. I know I promised y'all that I would do that. So we'll see what we can get going. But anyway, hey hey. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, this is Teresa. Um, this is my booth. We're just getting ready to start on Sunday. And I wanted to show this piece off. I haven't ever really shown this on a video. This is called Fractor Friends. It's done on 40 count silk gauze, but you could definitely cross stitch this piece. And it's done in kind of a fractor style. I wanted one friend to be kind of shabby and one friend to be kind of chic. And um, this is gonna be on loan to a shop now, and so I won't be able to show it to you for a long time. So I just kind of wanted to show off this piece so that you could see it up close and in person. Um, just for size, purposes here are my fingers so you can see about how big that is it's it's small it's maybe four by four inches on the 40 count silk gauze but I've seen it done cross stitched and it's really lovely so that's Fractor Friends yeah. okay right. we're trying this again okay. this is Stephanie she's from Lindy Stitches on floss tube and she's awesome Thank and you. she came by to visit today and this is her first market first market and so what do you think like scale it's of one to ten cross stitch mecca and <laughs> it's awesome yeah I'd say 10. So like, what's your favorite thing about it? Um, the models. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it amazing to see everything in person? Yeah. It's amazing. They yeah. look so different. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's set and, up is beautiful and... And different. Yeah. Everybody's booth is different. And and getting and, to meet everybody and pick their brains and mm -hmm. ask them a bunch of questions. And doesn't it make you feel inspired to like just create oh, yeah. and stitch and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have about... What's something that you've seen so far that you were like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. This is so amazing. Oh. Um, I'm not going to Like, was it fabric name. or threads? A or... bunch of petite point, because to be yeah. honest, I haven't seen a lot of petite mm -hmm. point in person, and seeing it in person is yeah. incredible. Yes. Yeah, mind-blowing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you might come next year. I am really hoping to come okay, next year. Okay, well, yeah. let's hope that As she does. Design. As a yeah. designer. As a designer. All right. So excited. All right, so say bye, everybody. All right. bye, everybody. <laughs> Cecile. <laughs> Few people know, but she is a master of words, and I cannot beat her on Words with Friends, but that's okay. You have no idea how many, <laughs> how many games I played with Teresa before I finally beat her on Words with Friends. That was my So, challenge. what's your favorite thing about Market? Uh, my favorite thing about Market is catching up with people that I have not seen in an entire year or longer. Yes. Yes. And how many years in the business is this for you? This is 21 
Yeah. yeah more. I think I quit counting. What are you crazy? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yes. So yeah. tell me about your new stuff that okay. you have at market. Okay. So we make things out of polymer clay, yeah, and then two years ago we got really crazy, and we bought another button company, and so now we also dye buttons. So we yes. have polymer clay buttons and we dye buttons. Okay. Okay. So now this we, is new for market. So okay. So what do we do with the polymer clay? We put it on the end of a sewing pin, and therefore just pins for fun pin cushions and they come in packs of fives but good things come in threes good things come in threes so we came up with pin mini for this show look at these cute little guys super in a package and you can oh how many sets do you need right at least 21 oh my gosh totally Right, and, and then, then these are your buttons these are that you dye. Hand dyed buttons, yes. And, and people use these probably for quilting and stuff they too. They do, huh? and these like, are um, especially for applique. For, yeah, applique, sure. All right, so this one's called Party Pack. It's a button party in a box. How fun is that, guys? Right. Okay, and look for sprinkles. Those are for so stitchers. these are tiny little buttons, mm -hmm. and they're so yeah. There's pretty. like 35, maybe 40 in a package. And is um, it now? Do you get? Is it the same ones in every pack, or is it just kind of like you scoop it? No, it's all of these. All of these oh, guys, buttons. And there's 35 colors. So, you could so do you have a pack that's mixed like that? No, or we don't. Mm -hmm. See, if you're doing a green project, then you need a green pack. Nice. All the colors of the rainbow and five neutrals. Yeah. And then if you like collecting and getting fun things in the mail, I think okay. Teresa likes Oh, fun I do. In what's, the mail. The, what's this? Okay, so this is called a hearts and flowers box. Okay. So we take little samplings, like this is, is each yeah. of these is a half pack of okay. the sprinkles that we just looked at. So you have two packs of sprinkles and you have a pack of smoothies. Okay. And the smoothies have a nice matte finish. They look really good on cotton or wool applique in addition to your stitching. Mm. And you also get this special what? little pack of polymer clay buttons oh. mixed with the hand dyed buttons. Yeah. And for hearts and flowers, you get a needle print and play project. Okay. And that means there is a custom printed piece of perforated paper. Oh. And see the word love and the little hearts, they're already printed on there. Yeah. And on this side, it shows you there's a chart inside and you stitch the flower. Oh, for cute. The little bit of floral, you stitch that on there. And um, we just used DMC floss for this one. And then you sew the buttons. Now, so that's a club that you offer or shops offer? Well, either one. You can check at your local shop if you're lucky enough to have one. If you don't, we do have a, an online store where you can buy hearts and flowers. And if you like getting a, something in the mail every single month, yeah. then you should look at our Button Lovers Club. Oh, okay. That What's that about? you get about? a new box. It's a subscription, so you get a new box every month. Ooh. And right now, but we're doing Button Lovers Club 2, year 2, and um, we sent out the lovely box. It okay. was red and white. We yeah. sent that in January, and then uh, the last one that went out was called Buttons in My Garden, yep. and it was pink and blue. Okay. And the one that we're getting ready to send out right now is one of Rachel's favorites. It features lemonade colors. Uh-huh. So, so now... Um, they would they go to like just another button or? Yes. Okay. And Spell guys, out all the words. I'll just put a link another below. Button right. And look for Button Lovers Club. Button Lovers Club. And it's, I bet it's been super popular. Oh my goodness. We have lots of people that enjoy doing that. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, thanks for taking time to show us today. <laughs> Happy market. Thank you. Bye. This is Amy B. The, Hi. In, the incomparable Amy B. <laughs> 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 and so she's got just like the coolest, brightest, happiest. Let me show you these Santas over here real quick. Cute, cute, cute. Snowman, cute, cute, cute. So how's market going so far, Amy? It's so good. It's yeah. been a great market. Yes. And so what do you like best about coming to market? Mm, seeing all my friends. <laughs> Everybody says yes. the same thing. Yeah, seeing all our people. Yeah, and what's like one of the things that stresses you out the most about market? Knowing how many things to bring. Yes. It's tricky. How do you decide? Um, I guess. <laughs> and isn't it, it's crazy because sometimes you think, oh my gosh, everyone's going to love this. And it's yeah. like, wah, wah, wah. It's true. You but then some things know. you're like, this isn't that good. And it's, <laughs> it's the favorite. It's the favorite yeah, it's thing. It's true. It's true. So, um, like, what's the thing at this market that you're just like most proud of? Um, I have to say, I'm sorry, did my eyes roll out loud? <laughs> <laughs> isn't that cute? Here, I was seeing this one. I don't know. Is this one older over here? Let me walk you over here. 
The early bird um, can have the worm because worms are gross and mornings are stupid. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a little snarky this year. <laughs> is that is that an older one or is that new too? Uh, it came out last August. Okay, super super funny. So medium. Yeah. Well, you know, okay. if you're not going to be snarky, who will, right? That is true. <laughs> I, I take the cake. Yeah. So what um what's next on the docket? Oh well, at the release of the Santa. Uh huh. That will be released in May. Okay. So we're just signing people up this show. I gotcha. And so it's a monthly, yes, monthly it's a auto, along. and then they come with like charms and yes. Yeah. Each one is it's each month you'll get a new Santa and whatever bedazzle I used on it. Okay, and it's um, what like an eighteen count maybe? It's a, tw it's a 20, twenty count. Uh, weeks, weeks dye works. Yeah, kazoo. Yes, yes, and stitched in what kind of threads? Mm, classic color works. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Sure. Bye, Amy. <laughs> Bye, Teresa. Okay, this is Jennifer from Jen Stitching Niche. You may know her. She's a friend of mine. And she's here at Market in Nashville. What's your favorite thing about Market? Just being able to see all of the designers and get to see how they interact with each other and to see all the cool designs. So you've already posted a bunch of stuff on your Etsy store. How's that going? It's going really well. Yeah. I mean, it was, if I had my phone on didn't happen on silent last night. I don't think we would have slept. <laughs> it's been really, really exciting. Do you have anything like that was your favorite runaway? Like, oh my gosh, this is amazing kind of thing here at Market? Um, I think I'm still overwhelmed with everything. I'm, I'm excited about the um, buttons from Just Another, no, the pin sets from Just Another Button. Okay, okay did you pick some of those up for your shop? I did. You I did? did? Okay, so. cool. And then um, do you have anything that you've seen where you're like, okay, I'm stitching this? Oh, uh, I don't, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I mean, there's a lots. lot, so lots of things. Yeah. And so how long do you think it's going to take you to get everything posted? I'm going to have everything posted, if not by tonight, Monday night. Okay. Wow. Because so. So. I have a very short day Monday yeah. at work, and then I'm going to come home and post what's left. Super cool. We were up till 1130 last night posting. Yeah. So. And you probably only got a fraction done of what? Right. We got as much as we could until yeah. my computer actually stopped working. So. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Your so. computer was like, okay, go to bed. Yes. All right. Well, say bye, Floss Tube. Bye, Floss Tube. You know who these ladies are. You've heard of Barb and Alma. Come on. Blackbird Designs, you've worked with their fabric. You've taken their classes. Well... You've we stitched wish. their things. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alma, and this is Barb. I'm Barb. Yay! Yeah. And, and how was Market? Oh, it's great. We're yeah. uh, fabulous. Yeah, and we're out of books, so there you go. Okay, so we're going to see what's new. What yeah. you got? We've got uh, three new books, and this okay. is uh, the first one. It's called Deck the Halls, and it's all about these six uh, strawberries. Okay. Oh, and look at how cute that is. Yeah, it's fun. And then uh, what Barb did was after she uh, stitched the berries, she wanted to give everyone a look of what they looked, you know, in, in um, you know, laid out flat. Yes. So she's done these wonderful oh, okay. things. Yeah. This is uh, actually a color oh. copy. So when you get done with your strawberry, don't trim it. Iron it, take it to FedEx Kinko's and make a color copy. Okay. And, and then, then you could put it in a frame, which it looks just, she's enlarged some, made some mm -hmm. small. But the fun thing about color copies is you really see all the stitches. It looks like it's yeah. just stitch. Make a great little gift tag for a gift. Make one Christmas gift and yeah. turn it into 15 Christmas That's, gifts. You know what? Exactly. <laughs> now, um, what is it about strawberries? Uh, you, you know, know what? They, they go from <laughs> anything from a pin cushion to an ornament. And that was really the plan about this. Any one of these is pretty well seasonalist, seasonalist, I can't even talk today. I know. But with that, you can turn it into a sweet, you know, sewing box. Even though this is called the first day of Christmas, a partridge in a pear oh, tree. Oh, cute. But it's just a great way to be able to have another little box to be able to keep special items in that you can open up and share. Nice. So, uh, yeah, you can use it as a pin cushion. You can make it lighter and use it as an ornament. And now you have a reproduction here, too. I'm going to, this is the yes. original here. And you, where did you find that? Oh, you know what? We find some of our best things on eBay. Yeah, this me is, too. Yeah. Shall I compare thee to a summer day is what we call this. Oh, and it's, it's so Adam pretty. And Eve sample. And so here's Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And this is, so you took pieces of that. Yeah, and we don't made. ever really do a true reproduction. Mm -hmm. We just do parts. Yeah, and then this is this, this is again is the flower beautiful motif. basket. And I tell you what, any more pin cushions for me? It's all about how many pins and how <laughs> cute are they? Can you you know get how many in pins there? can you stick in How there? can you embellish it? Now, and, when you guys buy a sampler, like what is it that you're like, oh, I gotta have that one? You know, it's all about whether we like it. Well, but but like, what is, is there something where you're like, oh, if it's got it's red or if color, it's got sometimes it's the motifs that's in there. We mm -hmm. were just compelled by Adam and Eve, and I think it was 
Eve holding the apple out and Adam reaching for it like he was, you know, yeah. accepting what she had, you know. <laughs> her, so. Nice. Yeah. And I you got these. My view is, is that really Adam was asking Eve what's for dinner. <laughs> you know, that's how <laughs> Typical <does>. man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are, this is loose feathers for uh -huh. this year, right? We've yes. done six so far. Uh, we're a little bit behind, but uh, we only have three more in this series. And we just wanted to bring them so that everyone could kind of see yeah, how so it's pretty. looking. Some of them are under glass, and the rest will be soon because we like to put all our samplers under glass. But I just didn't have time to get the rest of them right. done. And then this is a little, um, this is part of this sampler right, here. Uh, that's it's our Quaker sampler. Uh, I love Quakers. They seem to be mm -hmm. spaced just right mm -hmm. to add family initials. Yes. So, uh, I forgot the reproduction that we did from that, but here's a picture of it. And my family were actually oh, Quakers, and oh. they lived in Bush River, South Carolina, how which was a big a Quaker area. And this is my grandparents who got married August 1st, 1800, and all their children. Nice. So if you're from someplace else, I really want everybody to put their town yes. and state and their relatives. Don't mm -hmm. put mine in there. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And then all the other projects here are from that... Uh, sampler. I do want to show you one fun yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, Barb stitched this little uh, drum pin cushion and then she made a color copy and put it in this vintage frame so that you can see kind of the how whole... it would look. Yeah. Flat if you didn't want to make a drum pin cushion you wouldn't have to. And then she made a reduced color copy and I think what is so sweet about this is her mom passed away several Aww. years ago and her mom was a seamstress, and she really helped us with our business. Exactly. Oh. She did a lot of sewing. And Barb found this bent needle in her oh. chair on the armrest. Oh, you know where you honey. keep all your pins? Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> and so she got this little uh, tatted coaster, and she put her mom's needle in there. And so not only is it a sewing box, it's a memory, memory box. box. That's which is right. Really, okay, now I've got to show you this, too. Okay. Now, I know that you have a lot of these doilies that are... Um, on sofa arms or whatever and so Barb found this in an estate sale and she made a little mattress out of this. That's Look what so she did cute. on that one and I just screamed when I saw it. I thought it's it was so, so cute. cute. I know it's not cross stitch but just the idea of it is just yes, really sweet. I love that. So we're totally in our sewing box memory box exactly. stage now aren't we? <laughs> it's <laughs> because, a fun thing to share. Yeah we went to uh, Alabama for a vacation. We like to go down to the Gulf Coast and so we each, Barb says we're making sewing boxes. Yes. So okay. I did Eve and Barb did the little dog with the basket from the sampler. And so then we did a collection of shells. I have a little bit of shells and some things mm -hmm. I found in an antique shop. And then we filled our pin cushions with beach sand. So oh, what a great idea. every time we open up, we, rem we remember that wonderful time we had together down that at the beach. That is so super cool. Oh, and then we used, after we stitched this, we made a color copy of the sampler mm -hmm. and reduced it and then just put it on the top of the box How pretty. with a little decorative paper yes. too. Oh so yeah, that's pretty. It's just it's just a sweet way to remember a fun trip. Nice. Well, you guys are just amazing. Well, hey, thanks for coming <laughs> by. <laughs> thanks for sharing thanks your for talents sharing. with the stitching thanks. community. Bye. 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 This is lovely Nikki all the way here from Baveno, exactly. Italy. Italy. And sh her designs are so wonderful. I'm going to just show the sampler that she just showed me called the clock sampler and that's one of her designs and look at how pretty that is she's done it in two different colors that one on the top there is in the fabric that she dyes and she sold out of it but how pretty is that so um nikki how what do you like most about coming to needlework market oh the most important thing for me is the contact with the client with the shops mm -hmm. and friends that i met all over the year so I really like and enjoy to be here. Yes, and do you have, what's um, one of your favorite things that you released at this market? Uh, one of here, my we'll favorite actually are the Springer and the Winter Gold, which is a series. How pretty. Because I really love them as I did uh, over two and over one. Oh, very so pretty. I'm going to zoom see, in on the over yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are so different. Even the color are the same, you know, but you, you can really see. You notice the yellow. Yes. Oh, very. Over there's over one, two again. Yeah. Yes. And then so, here's another pretty one, the sewing yeah, sampler. Yeah, sewing stitching sampler. Yeah. Very pretty. And are you almost out of everything? Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. For yeah. some, yeah, for some charts and almost, yeah, the linen. And how many, how many markets have you come to now? 
you know? Um, I think this is my sixth year. Here. Sixth year. And yeah. so but next, I've been in Nashville for 15 and more years because I was here helping other friends. Correct, friends. correct. Yeah, so long, long time, and yes. I really love everything around. And I heard you were teaching a class recently, too. Uh, I took a class in Colorado first, yes. and then I will be in Philadelphia next week, in okay. Delaware, actually. Oh, my goodness. Historic Sample Guild. Okay. And then I will be in Sassy Jack uh, oh, okay. shop yep, yep. in um, North Carolina. Correct. Um, that will be the 17th of March. Okay. Then on the 19th, I will be back home. Okay. Yeah. And um, we'll miss you in the United States. We like I it when you, you come. I miss you all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I really like to stay here. And very, very friendly, lovely people. Well, thank you for taking time to talk to thank us today. You. Bye thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Hey, look at the lovely Brenda Gervais booth. She is one amazing designer, and she just totally kills it every year. Look at these amazing pin cushions. I'm going to just take you through because I know you all love her stuff dearly. She could not be found for comment. <laughs> well, she could be found, but she could not comment. So look at how pretty this is. It's killing me. I'm going to like save the best couple for last year. Her booth is always so cute and she sells everything and she's amazing and she's so nice. And I know you all love her stuff. Look at this. Okay, so she stitched that one. It's over one. Get the chart. It's called the Brick House Sampler. It's really cool. And she's got this neat little display here to the side. Super awesome. Look at this really neat pin cushion. Now that's, is that on like a finial or something? What yep. is, yeah, candlestick. See, it's a candlestick. And is it a box? Yep. It's a box. How neat. And then there's this little cute little chicken. Everybody loves chickens, right? Look at how cute that chicken is. And look, look how cute these sheep are. And then look how cute this little chick is up here. And she has eggs. <laughs> anyway, kudos to Brenda. She could not be found, but we do love her dearly. There it is. We are in the amazing Isabella, Isabella's booth. She is the primitive hair, and her stuff is the coolest stuff in the world. <laughs> and you. she has all kinds of just primitive, neat, like, fabrics and samplers and really cool patterns and things. Um, look at that house. Is that a reproduction? Yes, it's a reproduction of a 19th century sampler I bought in Amsterdam. Oh, my gosh. How pretty is that? What Now, when you see a sampler, what is it that makes you go, wow, I got to have that sampler? Oh, it... It speaks to me about history. It it saw so many things in <laughs> its life, you know. Yes. It's it has a soul. It has a story to to tell us. That is so pretty. Everybody loves stitching houses, don't they? Oh, I think yes. And you always just have the coolest little like accoutrements, you know, like the little. Um, Thread keeps and, My and husband Bob. Did. Oh, he yeah. does those. Yes, he's we so did talented. Everything. What's his name? Batman. <laughs> Batman! Batman! <laughs> really? Is it really? No, well, you call him Batman. <laughs> Look at this beautiful unicorn. Oh my lord. Do you have do you have a favorite thing that you release this market? Like something that you're like, oh yeah, that's awesome. Like look at this. That's well, so pretty. Well, probably my fox. Your fox. Okay, yes, let's look at your yeah. fox. I have a most wonderful model stitcher, but I want to stitch my fox. Beautiful. And the hedgehog and the bird came out earlier, did they? No, no, they uh, they came out uh, um, together for this show. So, so cute. Yeah, that fox. Look at the tail on that fox. Yes. And the fabric is so neat. Um, do you make that fabric? Yes, we did the fabric. And is yeah. it hard to make? Does it take a long time? N no, because I pay a uh, shop. <laughs> oh, you pay a shop to make it for uh, you. A printer shop, yes. Yeah, and it's just so neat. And you had that idea. You just were like, oh, let's put yes, some words on Yes, we started fabric. together the procedure. Yes. Yes, to, to print it directly on the fabric. And then I just, you know. Now, if someone um, wants to get a piece of that fabric, they could probably find it on your Etsy site, right? Yes. And so if you they look on Etsy under the primitive hair, yes, they could order exact. that fabric. And that's not the only printed fabric you have. You have yes. this fabric with the bee skep on it and the honeycomb. Yes, and also a snowflake fabric. But it's folded. I don't have a model here at the moment. Right, right. But it's here. Okay, yeah, it's here. Let's see the snowflake fabric. I've actually bought a piece of that earlier. And you could do all kinds of cool things with that snowflake fabric. Absolutely, you? and I will design a lot of patterns this winter, next yes. winter. Well, and you could even put Beauty and the Beast on it, right there. Yes. 
And you're I have Snow to, White. <laughs> I have to tell you, you're Snow White. Um, these were my favorite pieces last year, these rabbits. Oh, thank you. Do you me. still just love them? I love them. They're so, so cute. Yes. And they're on that fabric, too, where this one is, on the printed it's fabric. It's on yes. And um, here's what the chart looks like. And again, they can find those on your website. At, yes, at, everything. Mm -hmm. Or ask your local shop, because we want the local shops to carry them, too. Absolutely. And um, amazing. You're just always so amazing. There's another one with the printed fabric. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your talents with Thank us. You. you are incredible. Thank you. Bye. Okay, hey, everybody. This is Krista from Just Stitching Along. Oh, we have just met this weekend. She um, is absolutely please. lovely. She yeah. is reproducing samplers, and I got to show you this one that she, I just picked up a copy of because it's so amazing. Tell me about this girl. This is uh, Lucy Calcutt, and okay. when she was eight years old, she, she accomplished this beautiful sampler in such beautiful bright pink, red, in purple colors. She's a truly happy sampler. And this one was done in DMC on 36 count uh, Lakeside Linen. And um, Lucy was very ambitious because she did a second one when she was nine years old. And that's forthcoming. I'm going to be uh, stitching that this year and releasing it as soon as I can. And is it in um, similar colors? Or? Yes, it's in the same color palette, yeah. and similar in size. And uh, So what did you learn about her while you were charting that? Because I think you learn a lot when you chart a, a reproduction. So yes. what, did, what were her well, little quirks? Some of the quirky things I found was that she would run out of certain spaces. In, like, for instance, here we have one motif that's similar to one on this side but she has a butterfly on here but she couldn't fit it here oh she put, she put <laughs> it urn inside yeah, yeah she okay. just couldn't fit it you know and there's a flower here and i would think she might have wanted to do it all around but then realized she couldn't fit it there so she just i left things and and continued on now you know? to me i love like so, those little quirks like that's yeah. what makes a sampler super yeah. charming and just endearing yep. is Absolutely. just those little weirdness and a lot of people ask about this space up here like what happened you know yeah. what happened she's did she not finish but actually on the antique sampler yeah there's a hole in the linen oh so we don't know okay what was there you know sometimes we could see where the threads might be but this was just so there's just nothing a, a hole yeah. yeah there was nothing there and i didn't want to assume what she might have wanted there you yeah. know so i just left it blank and i thought it also could be for people who like to do personalizations yes like they could make it into a, a birth sampler if they want yeah. even yeah. or a, an anniversary sampler because it would lend to something like that as well i think right you know, it's very special so so what do you like about coming to market I like meeting everyone. <laughs> yeah, it is nice, isn't it's it? It's wonderful to see everybody who I've known online and I've shopped with too. Yes. Because um, I've had to use many online sources over the years with regards to my supplies when I need them because I don't have a local shop. So it's so much fun to see everybody from all around the United States and abroad because we've got people here from Italy and, yes, yes. and Netherlands and everything else. So it's been so much fun. Well, thanks for so. showing us your sampler today. It's absolutely you. beautiful. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye -bye. The Scarlet House booth, and it is too, too wonderful. Tanya is the designer, and she has got some lovely things as always. She has the greatest color palette. She does like reds and greens and charcoal. But I just want to show you what she's got because they're so, so cool. Here's on Stoneware Street. Pretty little pin cushion. Christmas in the Village. Here, look at this one. I just get picked up a copy of this chart. Anna Grader. She um, adapted a sampler she had that had a really pretty alphabet. And she added some like original elements and I think it's so, so pretty. And it's on, looks like 40 count, maybe Weeks Dye Works. 36, 36 count, what, Confederate Gray? Uh, tin Roof. Tin, tin Roof. roof. Um, here's the bee. I know y'all love bees. I'm gonna zoom in on it though because I feel like you need to see like how cool this is. So pretty. Oh, I love that little bench. Now this one's cool. Sarah Hopwood, 1847. And look at the neat dogs and like goats. No, sheep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how cute is that? You gotta love that one. Here's a little patriotic shaker box set. Market exclusive. So find a shop that's got that because it is way too cute. And then there's this little cute school day set. And look at that cute old red lunch box. Very, very cute. What a talented lady. Scarlet House, you gotta check her out. Now, here we go. This is Jeanette Douglas. She is amazingly talented. And she's been in the industry for... Oh, just a year or two, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 20 years next 20 year. 20 years next year, and she's got great new things. She's got to show you this. Tell us about this project that you got. Let me back up a little bit so we can get it all in. Okay, this is called Letters from Mom, 
and you could choose to have it to say anything you want. There's alphabets in it for you to change it. But this is a project that will... I'm going to zoom in on the project. ...will go as a letter bag, and you can send little letters in your letter bag. This is each month of the year. This was fashioned because when my daughter went to university, I was very sad, and <laughs> I needed to tell her all sorts of little things. So I dreamed up a sampler that would show that. Yes, so and, so, and then it. you can do it as a sampler, too. And it's got, is it 12? It's got 12 each month of the year. It starts in September when they go to school, forget me not. Oh. And then um, it travels through the different months of the year. A token of love is February. Love gains is May because of Mother's Day. And then you become your child's seasoned friend. And in the end, let your life speak. So nice. they little Quakerisms and uh, yeah. Hope that you'll join us on the Letters to Mom project. Now what's your favorite thing about coming to market? I think mostly it's just to see all the shop <laughs> owners that you deal with all year long and you get to see them face to face. It's very nice. All our peers in the industry, you kind of over the years gotten great little friendships so it's pretty nice. All right well thank you for sharing your talents with the stitching world. Thanks. Bye Jeanette. Bye. Hey, hey, Stitchy Tube people. This is Deb from Stitches and Things, and I know you all know who she is because she gets mentioned all the time. She just came in and bought a few new things. Um, what's your favorite thing about coming to market, Deb? New product, meeting the designers, <laughs> talking with friends, happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> we missed happy hour last night. Now, are you, are you planning on going back home today? I'll go back in the morning. We'll load up the car maybe tonight, definitely in the morning, with just enough room so the state police won't pull me over <laughs> for not being able to see out the back window. Funny. Now, how long does it take you, like, when you get home, oh. how much time do you spend getting all the new products up on your website? I will be putting them on the website on the way home. Okay. I've got a hot spot that I carry with me. So okay. uh, Debbie will be driving, I'll be adding. We'll get back to the shop Tuesday morning mm -hmm. and we'll spend at least three days getting all the bags unpacked, orders assorted to things, mm -hmm. hauled in the back room so we can start shipping. And yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it's got to be fun, though, to have all the customers get excited about the new products oh, and the yeah. new designs. Yeah, and things yeah we get and... excited too. Everyone thinks that we have the most, most fun here. It's work. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think, like, is there anything in the last year or two where you're like, oh, you know, this color is so hot right now? or this designer is so hot or, or you know people are really getting into whatever samplers or whimsical or is there anything that you just like really has really kind of been super popular the last uh samplers have increased big mm -hmm. again um and what do you think it is about samplers that's so appealing to people i don't i don't know i, I like the history of them but i don't stitch samplers they, yep. dri they drive me crazy <laughs> Um, mainly because I have a short attention span. Ooh, sparkly, new product. I don't. You know, if I start something big, I might not get back to it. Okay. But um, the floss tube Facebook groups are really pushing designs one way or the other because mm -hmm. they see something old and everyone catches on, starts yeah. stitching it, and. They can't understand why we don't have something in our store that was from 12 yeah. years ago. Now, do you, like, was there anything this, this last year where all of a sudden, like, you just started getting orders for some chart that with, it was like, what? With thy needle and thread wordplay. Oh, yeah, I heard about it's that. It's driving her crazy, too. Is it? Well, they're so cute, though. Yes. But, yeah. Yeah. Because they're older charts, none of the uh, distributors have them anymore. Right. So we can only get them directly from the designer. Right. So if she's on vacation, because they have lives, right. it takes us a little while longer know, to get things back in. Well, you've been in the industry such a long time. How many years is this for you? 26. Oh, my gosh. And you love it? Love it? Love it, love Frustration it. Frustration some days. Love it, love it. Don't love it. Love <laughs> it, love it. Hate it. <laughs> like it, love it, love it. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I'm sure everybody's glad to see your smiling face, Yay. and thank you so much for all your service these years. Um, bye! This is Paulette. She Hello. came and took pictures. I did. So how'd market go? <laughs> it went really well. It was a lot of fun. Okay, what was your runaway best, like, oh my lord, I sold out? 
You know, I think it actually was Noah's Christmas Ark too. Oh, I gotta go see it that. It was I between been that and Bovinia. I just, I don't know. I just, Check those, those two are kind of neck. Don't you love it when so. you're at market and you like, you just worked your butt off getting yeah, all this stuff ready, and then some, and then people go, okay, so what's next? Crazy. Like what's? Yes. And you're I like, know. ah, I just yeah. did all this I'm stuff. I'm like, uh, Noah's Ark three. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can come up with. No, because it's hard for me to come up with what's next because I don't know until. It's there. It's, I mean, I just, I'm very 11th hour. I always say that, but I don't plan ahead of time. I can't. So I, I just don't, when the inspiration strikes, I'm doing it. But it's usually like December 20th, and I'm thinking, oh, I should do a Christmas design. So. Yeah, I know. I know. Now, when you come, like, do you get ideas then? Like, you come and you look at other booths and you're like, oh, I love the colors, or I. Oh, I never no, thought. not usually. I usually will get my ideas. Honestly, it's funny if I see a, a curtain panel or a car, you know, a pattern in a rug or, you know, even something in, on Pottery Barn, you know, right, just, right. just different palettes and things. But no, honestly, when I'm at market and I see other people's things, I'm mostly just ogling for, for myself. It's, it's just all beautiful. And what's your favorite fun. thing about coming to market? You know what, my very favorite thing is just getting to meet with the shop owners. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. Um, it's, I just really like to be able in a lot of, in a lot of cases to put a name with a face. Right. And you really get, it's just so much fun and everyone's just in such a good mood and it's just fun. It's like, you know, Christmas and a weekend, so. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm looking at the camera. Yep. You're, you're, you're good, camera, you're good. So I'm All trying right. to decide who I want to look at. Well, thanks for <laughs> taking time to talk to us today and good, uh, safe travels. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys, this oh, is Pat Ryan. Goodness. She's amazing. She's been dyeing fabric for 25 millennia. Years. 25 yes. years. Mm -hmm. So how many markets is this for you? 24 for Nashville. Oh, my gosh. We've been in business 25 years. That's insane. Yeah. And so, like, what's the best thing about coming to market? Wrong question to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing the people. Yeah. Seeing the people and connecting, having a face, being able to say, right. oh, I met Teresa, I know Teresa. <laughs> you know, where when you're on the phone or, or emailing, you don't know what the person looks like uh -huh. or, or uh -huh. anything about them. Now, since you sell fabric, I know that at market, typically fabric sells out so fast because people just love to see it in person. That's right. And so is it kind of like a feeding frenzy mentality where it's like people... No, they come in with specific lists. Okay. They, they really do. They come in because some of them have a budget. Yeah. So they come in and they need certain ones that sell for their sure. person. Now for a stitcher, like let's say someone wanted to get into stitching reproductions and they said, I just want to have like a good all-purpose sampler fabric. What color of yours do you think Winter is just... Winter Brew. Winter Brew. And what is it about that particular color that it's you feel? It's the ground color of a lot of samplers. Uh -huh. Or espresso. It depends if your sampler is a gray background or a cream, a yeah. coffee-colored yeah. background. Yeah, yeah. But those two seem to be the two that would work the best. Yeah. yeah. And um, is there? do you have a color of yours that's your favorite color? No. No, they're no, all your babies? You, they all change, you know, and it's fun to change from season to season uh -huh. and have new colors. Yeah. yeah. And you dye with coffee? Cold water and... dyes and okay. coffee over dyes. Okay. Yeah. And it has to be good coffee. I'm not talking Folgers. I'm talking <laughs> it has to be an acid-washed yeah. because you don't want the acid on your fabric because eventually, maybe not in your lifetime, Right. But in somebody's lifetime, it's going to eat the fabric. Okay, okay. And the same with tea. Tea is very acidic. Yeah. So you don't want to use just any tea because it'll eat your fabric. Okay. Or your fiber. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, people who do it and cut it up and, you know, yeah. all that, you want, think about the hours it takes you to do the piece. Correct. You want to think of the value of your work. Yeah. So you don't want it to disintegrate next generation. Right, right. You want to keep it for a, a while. One would hope. Now, do you? How do you take care of your hands dyeing all this fabric? Is it oh, hard on your hands? Gloves. Rubber gloves. Rubber okay. Gloves and lots of washing, but you know, you use the hand lotion in between. Yeah. But I use rubber gloves. Do you find your hands get achy from just ironing? Well, yeah, and... because I'm old. <laughs> 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 well, we just, I mean, I know that stitchers just love our and our reproductions fabrics well, and you. you've, you know, done so many reproductions as well and retreats. Yep. And so, yeah. And with you in a retreat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, thanks so much for visiting You're with welcome. us today. Thanks. Bye-bye. You just knock it out of the park every time. No. What are you so proud about this market? This market? Yeah. Like what's your design where you're like, oh yeah, I totally nailed that one. Um, oh. I don't know. Let's look. Let's look over here. Let's see okay. what the amazingness. All right. Okay. I didn't nail that. 
No, you did. Look no, at how I cute did. their dresses are. Okay. No, I, okay, and then look at this. I nailed that one. That she nailed it. But look at her cute good. cheeks. Okay. Miss Mary Hadley. Now that's a, a companion to Miss, Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth Perkins, yeah. and they both have amazing skirts. Okay, now we've got Comfort Lighthouse. That's my sister pretty, Marty's pretty, pretty. hair gel samplings. And then three chairs. That's Marty's, Marty's also. Yes. Yeah. And then this one's that's an that's older an old one, one, but it's so pretty. Jennifer stitched that one, and it's she just loved doing it. She said, "I oh. used that green before. I've seen that one." And then this one is older too, but it's so cute up on the housetop. And it was restitched in red. Look how much better it looks in red. Well, they both are nice. Fractor heart, and you love fractors. I do. I'm a PA girl. Yes. And then tell me about this garden vegetables piece. Isn't that fun? Yeah. It's, all the information is accurate. And I I designed it a couple years ago, and it was in my computer. What? And I finally put it together. Did you forget about it or you no, just haven't I really? Just, I just wasn't inspired. See, and I love your butterflies. Like you had that piece with butterflies on them. Remember with all the yeah, blue butterflies yeah, yeah. that was so cute? Yeah. And um, look at the ladies with their pretty skirts. That's so nice. And then crow number five. Yeah, that's my primitive piece for the for the show. It's really, really cute too. Is that just in DMC or um no silk? Silk queen silk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I so tell me what you like. <laughs> tell me what <laughs> Don't do that. Tell me what you <laughs> like, Gabby. <laughs> I like needlepoint silk. <laughs> tell me what you like about market. Oh, it's fun. It's seeing every all your friends again. And you've been doing this for how many years? Oh. 10, 15. 15 years. Yes. It's crazy. It's crazy. And Anne is doing good. Is Anne yes, good? She's, she's well. I yeah. know everybody loves Anne too. Yeah, Anne. she's good. Yeah. Well, what a display. I mean, you're, I, I, you are one of my favorite designers. Okay. Like, I just think you're just so, <laughs> so freaking talented. <laughs> We're going to look at a few more pieces. Okay. Kathy's clever. just amazing. Like, you're, so here's what I like about you oh. I think you have a great sense of color. And sometimes when I pull like the threads for your piece to stitch, mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Where, you know, you pull the, th the threads and you're like, I don't know about this. And then you start putting them on the fabric and you're like, yes, yes, yes. It works, yeah. And I've stitched that one. I stitched that one for my friend Jennifer this year. Oh, cool. And um, I just like that your designs are kind of wonky. You know what I mean? I like things that aren't too symmetrical. I like kind of unusual. Oh, good. Unusualness. Yeah. That's me. That's, and that's, she's unusual. So pretty. And I'm just going to go over here, too. We got a horse. For some fractor birds. And then some Halloween stuff over. Oh, wait. And your jewelry. Yeah, jewelry. Tell me about your jewelry. Now, you kind of got way into jewelry. I got so way into jewelry. It's all handmade. It all uses antique Was stuff. 90 minutes or and 90 second piece? Yeah, it's just three minutes so far. <laughs> <laughs> and sterling wire and as much and gemstones, old mother of pearl, antique everything. It's and you sell like, these on your Etsy shop, and that Etsy shop is called French Sentiments. French Sentiments. Yeah. And these are just one of a kind pieces. Like yes. you can't, you make one, and that's it. She cannot right. produce it again. Right. I have a couple pieces of your jewelry. I have you some do. earrings that I love. Oh, I bought a beautiful um, bird necklace with some ribbons and things, and I just love them. And um, they're so good. so cool. And where do you find all the pieces and parts for these? Um, I have people that buy from me in you France. You do? Okay. Yes. Oh Again, wow. I go to the antique markets in Pennsylvania every Sunday and search. It's fine. Do you ever have you ever have like a piece of jewelry where you're like, ah, yeah, I'm just keeping that for myself. <laughs> I do, but I never end up keeping it. No, ever. what? Yeah. The two that Linda bought today were both keepers for me. Oh, and then really? here they are. And well, she's... I've never seen. I wore a piece all day yesterday. And then you sold it? Linda bought it. Linda bought yeah. it. Linda! Yeah. <laughs> it was hanging out there. <laughs> and I came on the very last day so I wouldn't have too many choices. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your talent with us, Kathy. You are a maze bomb. Thank you. See you nice later. See you. Bye. Bye everybody. This is Linda Loot Player from Charlie and Me. <laughs> Lagenschlager, 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 Lautenschlager, Lautenschlager. Okay, you and you're from Wisconsin. I am. And you're German, I betcha. Uh, German and English. German and English, mm -hmm. and you've been in the business for just a couple years, two years, three years. Yeah, since 1990. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm an old lady. Her booth is always so so cute, and oh, she's got this cool. wonderful new. I'm gonna zoom in on the sampler. This is a, an see. antique that she's got, that she reproduced. Esther and, Edison. And it's and so you own that sampler? It's that's the No, no, but you one. do you own it? Oh yeah. Or it belongs oh, to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and where'd you find it? 
Actually, I found it last time Heart of the Country was here when we were doing the needlework market. And what drew you to that sampler? Through. With a red house? Okay, the red house, but then I've always wanted a sampler with a little black yes. figure in it. Mm -hmm. And then over here, there's a little figure with a dog with a leash, and it says, Poor Blind Man. So this is a seeing eye dog. Oh, how cute from is that? From 1832. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And it, I don't know, I just love the colors. I had no idea until I started stitching the reproduction on 36 count. Yeah. It's an Adam and Eve sampler. It totally <laughs> is. And let's zoom in on Adam and Eve so you can see yeah. the snake. He's very white. And Adam and Eve are kind of bleached out. Yeah. They, but it actually and does look at say those, like, Adam and Eve. It's fish, right? They're like flying fish. Flying fish. Mm -hmm. There's Amazing. just so many different little fun things in there. And you stitched that what on a, is it Lakeside Linens? or Yes. And in what kind of thread? Uh, it's just the Gentle Arts over dyed cotton. Nice. Yeah. And it's just, the colors are beautiful. Yeah, the colors what else do you have really uh, for this market? Well, I've oh, got my um, a historic sampler, a Lincoln. It's a, it's actually Lincoln's home in Illinois before from 1860 before he moved to Washington. Okay. And the quote is from him. Um, I have a little kit that's Liberty, Summer Liberty, which is a complete kit with silk threads. Okay. Cool. And this is a little piece that it goes in a little casket oh. that I would like to envision. The name is Nettie Brown. Okay. My mom's name was Jeanette Brown. And okay. Her nieces and nephews called her Nettie, so I always thought Nettie Brown was a perfect that is a, sampler name. It is a perfect so sampler name. I am doing a series of different things involving Nettie Brown, and this was oh, okay. if she had come over, we go back to the Mayflower. Oh, if wow. If she had come over on the Mayflower with her little yeah. work box, this would have been it. Yeah. And I've just got a couple little, you know, kind of primitive. Pear tree sampler. Pear tree so sampler. Cute. I've got a little Quaker work box. Pretty. And then I have a little, it's a little like a matchstick box that all these little pieces go into. How pretty. Yeah. Now, um, what's what's your favorite thing about coming to market? Meeting and greeting all, actually, designers, old friends, old customers. It's just, I work out of my home. By myself, 90% mm -hmm. of the time. Yeah. And then it's seeing everybody again, renewing old friendships. Just It invigorates you. Mm -hmm. It really it does. does. And you go home totally jazzed. Yes. And totally ready to do new designs. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your talents with the needlework community You're for so welcome. many years. We just can't wait to see what's next, but we're going to get busy stitching on what you got. Yay! Thank you. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Hey guys, this is Teresa. Um, this is my booth. We're just getting ready to start on Sunday. And I wanted to show this piece off. I haven't ever really shown this on a video. This is called Fractor Friends. It's done on 40 count silk gauze, but you could definitely cross stitch this piece. And it's done in kind of a fractor style. I wanted one friend to be kind of shabby and one friend to be kind of chic. And um, this is gonna be on loan to a shop now. And so I won't be able to show it to you for a long time. So I just kind of wanted to show off this piece so that you could see it up close and in person. Um, just for size, purposes here are my fingers so you can see about how big that is it's it's small it's maybe four by four inches on the 40 count silk gauze but I've seen it done cross stitched and it's really lovely so that's Fractor Friends this is Jim <laughs> Jim from the Gentle Art he's amazing he's so nice I call him dude he calls me dudette he's do. been doing this a while and he just was telling me they're like out of new colors yep and so what were your new colors this show uh we had a coral reef Okay. Storm clouds. Yeah. Putty. Ooh, that sounds and nice. And it's going right out of my head. What it's is it? It's been a long weekend. <laughs> Help me out, sir. I'm thinking. <laughs> Storm clouds, putty, coral reef. Driftwood. Driftwood. Okay. Driftwood. That sounds pretty. And then four new wools. Uh, oh. Antique rose, uh, onyx, yeah. walnut, Ooh. and uh, the sage. green sage. And so, like, when you get to this point in the weekend, what are your thoughts? To have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> to, just, to just shut the door and go have a beer with friends and, and relax. Can you, you work really hard and then you don't, that's you right. know, you, you, at the night you get to socialize with a lot of good friends. Yeah. So now you, and you've been doing this how many years? So we've, been, we've been in business since 90. Okay. Um, I probably came in probably the tail end of 2000-ish. I remember seeing your threads the first time and I just was like blown away. Like back in probably 
2004, maybe, is when I first started seeing him. And I just was like, what? Hand-eyed. That's so cool. Yeah. It's... And you and you're like one of the dudes around market. Like it's a lot of women, and so like, do, what do you think about like having to work with all these women? Like, is it just keep them happy? <laughs> he's, you know, this man's a good husband. <laughs> he's or he's keep, been trained well. <laughs> yeah, the uh, we've been doing this for a number of years. We start off like 21 colors, and now we've got how many? 219. And, and then what's what's do you think is your top seller besides oatmeal? I guess. Dive is really. The number one. Chalk is probably up there, oatmeal, uh, maple syrup, wood trail. And do you have a favorite color? Do I have a favorite? It's probably one of the ones that isn't all that popular. What and dye because it sells the most. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Pays I, for the beer, right? I like, I like tomato. I like I tomato like too. I like pumpkin ones. pie. Pumpkin pie is nice. Gingerbread is nice. Yep. I like carriage black. Yeah, carriage black is kind of spooky. I like it. I like it. It's yeah, and so when you guys are developing a new color, like how do you do that do you is it demand or do you just are like oh we there's need... a number of different ways it could be happy accident mm -hmm. um, my dyer doesn't make bad mistakes she'll make good mistakes. happy accidents right yep yep um it could be we're trying to uh we get a direct designer request Somebody's yeah he's looking for a mm -hmm. particular shade of color was there ever a color that someone was like, hey, I need a color that looks like dog vomit or, you know, like where it's, have you ever had one where you're like, oh, I think we'll pass yes. on that one, we actually? We had this designer called Shakespeare's <laughs> Peddler who wanted a, a, a Halloween bag, and it's the first time I ever named a color zombie flesh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> zombie flesh. Zombie hey, you know what? People flesh. still talk Witches about it, though. Wart. Which I app? still get requests for that bag. Let's see. They're sold know. out, so don't They're ask. sold out. Don't ask. <laughs> how you come up with color names that's just... very sometimes it's real easy like you'll look at something and you'll say oh that's so-and-so other yeah. times it's a chore yeah. we look on google you'll get paint chip oh, that's things nice. you um you just google color and see yeah. what comes up and i mean it's it can be challenging and now i just usually it. push it off on my staff <laughs> hey i need this name <laughs> <laughs> I remember I had, there was a limited edition one called Dill Pickle that I liked. I don't remember if that ever got made into an actual color. Yes, Dill Pickle got uh, a little bit of a tweak, and it is uh, wheat field somewhere so in there on the order form. Yeah, it's, I can't I can't remember. <laughs> you got me on the edge. I can't think. <laughs> All right, is there anything else you want to say to the viewers about no, your threads? Just for, use them, right? Thanks for stitching with our threads. If you ever have an issue with our threads, just send me an email, let me know. They're so beautiful. Shouldn't have an issue. They're, <laughs> they're all color fast. And, nice. Um, and we love our stitchers. Ubiquitous. Awesome. Thank and, you so much. And uh, if you have any designs that you've stitched with our threads, send me a, a picture of it, and I'll post it on Facebook. Nice. All right, thanks, Jim. Bye. See ya. Okay, I'm just about done editing um, the interviews and everything. It's fun to look back on the weekend and see everybody and um, just remember all the smiles and laughs and things. It's just great to spend a weekend with people. Uh, there were other people I wanted to interview. I would have loved to have talked um, you know, to a, a number of the other sampler designers. The Hands Across the Sea booth was amazing, um, and, and she's got some really great things coming out soon. But um, just, you know, the industry... We're all a team. You've got your designers and your shops and your manufacturers and, you know, thread dyers and fabric dyers and um, the stitchers, of course. I mean, we're all, we're like this nice little symbiotic relationship where we support each other and couldn't ask for just a nicer group of people, I think. It's, it's just a neat, neat group of people to be involved with and such a great pastime and activity to do in your spare time and um, something to pass, pass along to the future, something to share with your friends. So um, I'll see you soon. In a couple of days, I'll be posting those tutorials. And in a couple of days, I'll be unemployed in a way and employed in a new way. And so thanks so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.